Introduction. Welcome to this video presentation about the Geno ID full spectrum HPV assay. This 15 minute video will show you how to use the product safely and effectively. Human papillomavirus, HPV, is one of the most common sexually transmitted infections. It is well known that the presence of HPV shows a strong correlation with the incidence of tumors such as cervical carcinoma and its precancerous states. Interest is growing worldwide in the use of HPV DNA testing as an adjunct to cervical cancer prevention pap smear programs. Combining these two methods may help eradicate cancer of the cervix. Full spectrum HPV is the most comprehensive HPV detection system available today. The kit is designed and optimized to detect HPV infections with balanced detection sensitivity and high specificity. The assay is CE marked for in vitro diagnostic use. Full spectrum HPV amplification system. The full spectrum HPV amplification system is sufficient for the simultaneous examination of 44 samples in two controls, a positive and a negative control respectively. The full spectrum HPV amplification kit contains a master mix, control DNA for HPV low risk and high risk, and internal control DNA. The detection probe kit contains both high risk and low risk probes and an internal control probe which serves to exclude false positive results. The amplification system consists of the full spectrum HPV amplification kit, detection probe kit, and the detection reagent kit. The detection reagent kit contains binding, elution, hybridization and conjugation buffer, substrate solution, washing solutions one and two, detection reagent, and plates which are coated with streptovidin. As a unique feature of this kit, the general HPV probe mix is also available. Specimen preparation. The specimens are collected in cytic preserved site solution. Before sample preparation, the internal control working solution is prepared by adding internal control DNA to the preserved site solution. One full vial of preserved site is used and must be prepared freshly. 10 milliliters of the original preserved site specimen are alloy coated and the cells are separated out by centrifugation. After decanting the cell pellet, the working internal control is added and is then followed by DNA extraction the amplification and the detection steps, thereby excluding the possibility of false negative results. During manipulation, because of the sensitivity of PCR, care must be taken to avoid contaminating the samples with each other or with the amplified product. Roche Amplilute Liquid Media Extraction Kit is recommended. This is a silica-based DNA extraction method providing uniformly high yield and the DNA is pure enough for the subsequent manipulation. Reagent preparation. To prepare the working master mix, add Amplitac Gold enzyme to the vial of master mix reagent. Mm -hmm. 
If you would like to prepare less than 44 reactions, both the master mix and the enzyme may be scaled down proportionally. The reaction mixture should be prepared in advance and ally coated in the PCR tubes. To set up two control reactions, use control DNA as a PCR positive control provided by the manufacturer. and a PCR negative control, which is DNA's free water. Please check the recommended PCR plate design in the manual. Close the tubes and place them in the thermocycler, which should be programmed in advance. The thermocycler parameters are carefully optimized. If you use a thermocycler other than GeneAmp PCR System 9700, it is recommended that an experiment be carried out with a series of diluted positive controls. Hybridization. The hybridization is extremely sensitive in detecting the amplified products and results in highly specific detection of HPV genotypes. Before the procedure, washing solutions one and two must be diluted with distilled water and mixed thoroughly. The hybridization is carried out on a streptovidin coated plate. If you would like to carry out fewer reactions than recommended, you may remove the unnecessary strips and scale down the reagents prepared proportionally. Dispense binding buffer into each well using an A-channel pipitor. The best practice is to follow the recommended hybridization plate design with controls and specimens. Add the diluted specimens to the wells. Then add DNA's free water as the hybridization negative control to minimize the risk of contamination. This is followed by the hybridization positive control, which is a mixture of HPV high risk low risk, and IC hybridization positive control mix. Also, PCR negative and positive controls are added to the plate. During the incubation process, Prepare the working probe cocktail reagents in four separate tubes. For high risk, use HPV high risk probe mix. Low risk, use HPV low risk probe mix. Internal control, use HPV IC probe. And general probe, use HPV general probe mix.
hybridization well should be washed and the washing solution should be removed with a strong downward motion. And then turn the plate upside down and tap it on absorbent paper to remove traces of the washing solution. Each working probe cocktail reagent is added separately to the wells according to the recommended hybridization plate design with A-channel pipitors. Dispense the corresponding working probe cocktail reagents as follows. High risk probe in the first strip, low risk in the second, general probe mix in the third, and internal control in the fourth. The plate shaking and the incubation temperature steps are crucial factors in this process. The hybridization is the most sensitive step of this procedure. Follow the steps outlined in the manual exactly. After hybridization, the hybridized probes are detected by HRPO, horseradish peroxidase, conjugated antibody with washings between the steps. The reaction is developed using TMB as a substrate solution. Read the microplate with a microplate reader and record the findings. Interpretation by simple visual inspection is also possible. Wells with visible blue color are considered as positive reactions. Thank you for your interest in GenoID's products. You may contact us at info at genoid.hu.